the founder of Wahoo Fitness. Going to the Sizzler, Trainiacs. Morning, Trainiacs. You know those days where when you wake up, you're like, you know, I have all the time in the world to get to the second day of Interbike. And then an hour and a half of scrolling through Instagram later and you're like, oh crap, I have to interview the founder of Wahoo Fitness uh, in 15 minutes. Lift, be with me now. So I am here on the Wahoo Kicker with the Wahoo Climb up here. And uh, I'm also here with my man Jose Hello. from Wahoo. Do you want to explain what uh, the Wahoo Climb is all about? This just got announced yep. uh, two weeks ago at Eurobike. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so the, the Kicker Climb is what we've announced uh, this year at, uh, at Interbike. And basically, it's a complementing product to the kicker and the snap trainers that we make today. And what this does is that it really just continues to elevate that in, uh, indoor riding uh, experience for consumers. So what the uh, climb does today is it basically takes that and adds physical grade change to your bike. Right. Um, so as as I'm riding here. Yep and on Zwift or really any course that you can load into it. Yep. There we go. So you could, so I'm using it in manual mode right now. So and but basically, it basically it's tipping your bike up and down to better reflect the road that you would be facing on a third party app, for example. So um, so it's, it gains you two, two things, right? So on a, on a, just on a training basis, I mean, you can, you know, if you're training for hilly courses, if you're training, uh, from uphill TT um, or something like that, it allows you to position the bike in a more realistic way, so your legs are being used in that same position. Your body, your you know, your sit bones are in the right position with the saddle. Um, so it gives you a, just a better training experience. And then the other thing is that when you start using things like Sufferfest and uh, Zwift um, and many other platforms that are coming uh, to market today you get to have just a more realistic experience because now you're staring at the road and the road starts going up and the climb will tip your bike up so you get that sensation of actually going uphill. You start moving your your body forward and backward on the saddle a little bit so there's a lot of gains there. Yeah and one, one thing that you were mentioning before was that as let's say in my case I'm on the trainer for four months of the year, I always find that that first ride out, just having the wind in my nose and all of a sudden having to use those stabilizer muscles that I haven't had to use on the trainer for four months, you can get a little bit more of them now because you're in different positions as you're, you're seeing grade. It's not going to be such a shock to get out onto Correct. that road. Yeah, so um, we did some, you know, we, we have kinesiologists actually on staff and uh, so they study, you know, body movement and just to, and they're the ones that really kind of help us understand the benefit of these things and the way that he in very common man language explained it to me he's a very smart PhD guy and he said basically your muscle has a full it has a range that it can you know stretch and contract right and when you're training on a trainer and you're sitting in that same position the whole time you're training it in a certain range so if you don't get out of that range um, when you go and let's say you go to climb and now your muscle has to use that little bit of range that you're not used to, it's, you're still going to be able to use that muscle, but it's just not going to last as long, it's not going to feel as good, it's not going to be as accustomed to being used. So that's all we're trying to do is we're expanding the range that you play that muscle in when you're working out. The, uh, the final thing that, that I found really cool is you said that like, you, can, you can load up any any ride that you're doing. So I could go and I could take the the Wahoo Bolt out to the Half Ironman Austin course, take that GPS file, load it into this, and then all of a sudden in between now and then start training on the course, essentially. Yeah, it's, uh, that's exactly right. So it doesn't have to be just Zwift no, or Suffer Fast or Swift. Yeah, yeah. How much does does this come in at? And so you 
I'll, I'll preface that with you have to purchase a 2017 Correct. kicker or snap to pair with it because Correct. the mechanics of the trainer are designed specifically for the climb. So the kicker, um, the new kicker that we just launched at uh, Eurobike this year, um, still maintains the same retail price that it's had for years now. It's $11.99, nothing has gone up. And uh, the climb is actually gonna retail for $5.99 and that'll be available uh, this holiday season. Uh, November, December, right? Yeah, correct. This is cool. Okay, I gotta take this for a ride now. No, great, thank you. Okay, thanks. Better. All right, how cool is that? That Wahoo climb feels not too bad. You know, if there's one trend that I have really seen, well, okay, two big trends from Innerbike. Uh, number one, e-bikes are not just for old dudes. In Winnipeg, basically only old dudes ride it, but e-bikes now are getting to be a legitimate bike. For instance, Jeff from Alter Ego, he said, well, what would you want to do if you wanted NTK to join you for a ride? And be like, she'd be f not gonna happen. But on an e-bike, she could join me for a ride and actually pace me out. Yeah, not bad. So that's a big trend this year in Innerbike. And then second big trend is smart trainers, smart devices, smart bike computers, smart watches. Basically getting more data into our devices so that the training that we put out is really purposeful and we know our metrics better so that the time that we put in is actually giving us more of an effect. And that Wahoo climb, like if I can load up the Half Ironman Austin course and just do that over and over and over as we start getting really specific towards the, the day, that'd be awesome. All right, I gotta get in very, very quick run before dinner. If there's one thing I hate more than treadmills, it's hotel treadmills because I'm typically staring at a wall. That's not very fun to look at while I'm running. You wanna know what I'd be perfectly happy with never doing again? Treadmill workout. Don't tell Coach Pat I said this, but treadmill workouts like that make me want to join him for indoor track runs over the winter. Don't, don't you dare tell him that I was into that. All right, fancy dinner with Alter Ego. Going to the Sizzler, Trainiacs. <laughs> 